Oh, Allah, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to uh, another video uh, on Baggy TV. Uh, guys, just bear with me today because I have a little bit of a cold. So uh, I'm going to be editing out all the bits where I blow my nose, but you might hear me sniffling every now and then. There you go. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be talking about Tammy Abraham's new contract. I'm going to be talking about the... Um, the transfer of uh, Pedro to um, to Newcastle apparently, and Willian's decision either to go to Arsenal or Tottenham. They're the topics I'm going to be addressing in today's video. I just want to say uh, thank you to everyone who submitted a question on the video yesterday for the Q and A on Sunday. Um, I, I got some some really tough questions there. I mean, uh, there's a couple of really really good questions. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy making the Q and A on Sunday. It's gonna be really good. Uh, some of the questions that you guys have put put down um, were really interesting, really interesting. So uh, I'm looking forward to answering the questions on Sunday. So make sure you've uh, you've subscribed to the channel uh, so you get notification for when that video goes live. Um, Let's jump into the video, lads. So, um, you all know that Tammy Abraham has been uh, negotiating a new contract uh, over the past uh, few weeks, a uh, few months. Um, a lot of the uh, the youngsters at Chelsea have, have been tied down to uh, long-term contracts. And it looks like Tammy Abraham will be doing the same. Um... The current contract uh, put forward to him is a, is a contract that will take him up to 2025. So it's pretty much a five-year contract, valued at eight million pounds a year. So it's a pretty, a pretty, uh, pretty good contract, a pretty big contract for um, potentially a very, very good striker. And um, we all have seen what Tim Abraham has has done this season for Chelsea. And it's been it's been really good for for him in his breakout season um, in the Premier in the Premier League. Um, he's done he's done um, he's done a lot. Yeah, his form kind of dipped towards the end of the campaign because of an injury and um, and him being pushed to play uh, through the pain barrier. So that wasn't that wasn't too great. But before that, he, he was he was doing um, a great um, a great deal for Chelsea. To be honest, looking at his stats and looking at players who have produced stats similar to his this season in other leagues, uh, the Latoma Martinez is and, uh, and whatnot of this world, um, Tammy Abraham deserves that contract and he deserves to be given the opportunity to be uh, one of Chelsea's long-term striking uh, options. So I'm happy that he's been offered that contract and I'm, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be signing that contract if he hasn't already signed it yeah. uh, the reports aren't very clear some are suggesting that he's signing it some are suggesting that he signed it some are suggesting that it's just pre-proposed to him so it's not very clear right now and, and, and the way the media is right now it's just all over the place so as I'm making this video it's still not clear maybe by the time it goes live it, it has been clarified I don't know so um, the uh, the other subject uh, um, before, I, before I talk about William because I want to Go into more details about William. I want to just address the Pedro situation. Now, Newcastle are being taken over by the Saudi royal family. In a nutshell, those of you who are familiar with the Middle East um, and familiar with the record of this crown prince will have different opinions about whether or not he should be allowed to buy a club in the UK. But business is business and money talks. So it is what it is. Let's not talk about that. Let's talk about Pedro. Um, Pedro is being looked at by Newcastle. And uh, in the media, um, there's, 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 uh, there's a lot of rumors about Pedro moving to Newcastle at the end of his contract. This report has been greeted by a lot of enthusiasm from the Newcastle fans they believe that they're going to get a very good player they're going to get a player who can provide a lot for them to be to be honest with you guys uh, I agree I agree Pedro will be a player that can bring a lot to Newcastle in regards to his experience 
regards to the trophies that he's won, in regards to what he can bring to Newcastle, not just as a player on the pitch, but maybe in the dressing room, maybe with the, with the young lads and, um, and give him that incentive, that uh, understanding of how to handle certain situations. I think Pedro can do a lot for Newcastle and if Pedro decides to move to Newcastle, I wish him all the best. And if he does go to Newcastle, I want to tell the Geordies that you guys are getting a very talented player. Someone who will give you a good couple of seasons. So the best of luck to Pedro if he does if he does decide to go to, um, to Newcastle. Now, William. William. I don't know, I don't know how to address this story about William because um, personally, I would have liked to see him stay at Chelsea for another couple of years. Um, I think the club is doing the right thing by offering him a two-year contract. I don't think William should be offered any more than two years. Um, I mean, two-year contract and then maybe, you know, extend it after the two years, maybe. But, and, and, and it isn't just because of his age. It's because of his position as well as his age. If he was playing in a, um, in a different position, uh, where pace doesn't really play that bigger a bigger role, I'd have a different point of view. But because of his position, he's a winger. Pace is important, and he is losing his pace. You can see it this season. I'm not saying he's slow, but what I am saying is he is slowing down, and you need pace in that position. So. Does he have something to offer to Chelsea? Yes, he does. And he will continue to, to have something to offer the next couple of years. But for him to demand a three-year contract, no. He's requested three. He's been offered two, which is more than a lot of his predecessors have been offered. Accept it. You don't want to accept it? Fine. Go elsewhere. Does it have to be Arsenal or Tottenham? Do you, do you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're a Chelsea lad. You, you've been a Chelsea lad for, what, seven years? Do you have to go to Arsenal or Tottenham? I don't know. I mean, uh, a lot of players have gone between us and Arsenal. There and back, you know. Um, the the likes of Ashley Cole, the likes of Gallas, the likes of... David Luiz most recently and, and others Giroud you know th th that happens a lot that happens a lot um, to be honest it's not a matter of being uh, a traitor or whatnot. it's just if you want to have a legacy at a club if you want to uh, be remembered at a club you don't go to their rivals I remember Giroud when he was at Arsenal, he was talked about as a legend. He came to Chelsea and there's still Arsenal fans who, who like Giroud, but he's lost that. Um, players who go to rival clubs, they lose that uh, respect of the fans. To be honest, uh, uh, a lot of people like William. I know there's going to be people in the comments saying, oh, we hate him, da 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 da. But there'll always be haters, but generally, William has been a good servant to Chelsea. I don't like to see him going to Arsenal or to Tottenham. And by the way, the Tottenham story seems to be more likely. There's, there's a story that he might be going to Arsenal or Tottenham, and the Tottenham story seems to be more likely purely because of the uh, Jose Mourinho situation. And um, he wants to go back to work with Jose Mourinho, William. Um, I mean, I don't. Personally, I don't rate Jose Mourinho anymore. I did in the past, but any, uh, right now I don't. So I don't, I'm not sure if it's a good decision for William to go. Just to be played for a manager that, in my opinion, has expired. In his mentality, in his um, performance as a manager. He, he was a special one. Not anymore. You know, I might actually make a video about Jose Mourinho in the future just to discuss discuss his management um, at Chelsea and at other clubs and where he is right now. Well, lads, uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching my video. And, and if you made it to the end, appreciate you. Make sure you've subscribed. Make sure you've subscribed. Give the video a like, lads. Appreciate that. Catch you in my next one. Have a good one. Peace out.